local vultures. See, early 2010s, man, I had a busy schedule. Cause when Moose start overcharging smack, who came to the rescue? I know battle rappers hate it. That's why we segregated. I built that house at URL. Y'all ain't do shit but decorate it. And we ain't never forget you was a nurse that went back to the hood. Like, let me be crit. Ain't never seen you check a blood's pressure, but you do check blood pressure, you bitch. Do you know the trouble you do you know the trouble you are in? You are in? You won't get a you. You won't get a you are in just left in the ditch. Go! Difference, difference between you and my gun. I ain't register shit. Go! Nobody in this camp got no stand up in them. My whole crew got some handguns with them. We all killers. So the niggas that I message, we can't unsend them. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, etc., etc. But don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Shout out to my brother Showtime Miss P. And everybody who watches this content, whether religiously or in passing, that has been keeping us in the algorithm, watching us all year, you know, subscribing to it, watching the episodes on the news and everything else that's been continuing to keep us in rotation. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's a couple battles coming out today. First, you had uh, The Verb and Mickey had just came out. Rex and Chess is coming out, and Easy versus John John's coming out. Now, I'm hearing, I saw some of Easy's live earlier where he's saying there was no judges involved, and there was no 25,000. You see what I'm saying? Like, the nerve of you. <laughs> but you That's know, like, disrespect. That's. What are we doing here? <laughs> it was. <laughs> it was promoted as 25,000 on the floor. And there's no 25,000 on the floor. I knew something was up when I got in that building. There was no judges. There was no talk about judges. Y'all saw me. You saw me in the interviews ask these niggas. Both of them. I did ask. And I did it for the love. Because I'm like, yo, man, just give back. Do it for the love. Y'all could have gave me the 25. You niggas could have gave me the 20. <laughs> I'm off of it. Shout out to both of them. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. you sh if you was going to say some shit like that, you probably should have said it after the battle. But... Easy, you know what I'm saying? He said what he said, but John John responded. What did John John say? He tweeted about the, <laughs> about the whole 25,000 shit. And I call it like I call it so I can't spoil it, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I got no side in this shit. John John says, now the 25 isn't a real thing. Bet you would have been real. Bet it would have been real if people had him winning. See, that's what I'm saying. They're going to say you move, they're gonna say you move the goalpost. Niggas are going to say you move the goalpost because the money was up. Wasn't y'all talking about the money was in the escrow and all? Wasn't these niggas? Yo, get these niggas, bro. Get these niggas, bro. Like, 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 he said the money. Where's the money, man? <laughs> y'all niggas wild for that, bro. Because, man, more people copped it. Niggas was copying it. They watched it. They was thinking that it was going to be this big bet on the line. Shit, he even got me to go. If there was no 25000 on the floor, I would have stayed home. I ain't going to hold <laughs> I probably would have stayed home. Because, like, like. The thing about battle rap, what people don't understand, and shout out to Three Letter Man, I watched a, a blog by him last night, it had battle rap media in it, so I watched it. Very good blog, shout out to him and everything that he does, you know what I'm saying? He was talking about the battles are better, I, I always felt the same way he does. Watching battles is way better at home than it is there. That I'm outside, that I'm in the building, shit, that shit don't mean nothing, because number one, you're going to stand up all day. Motherfuckers gonna be smoking and drinking all around you. You're gonna be high as shit whether you wanna be or not. Niggas is having side conversations about you. The bar, not about you, but just in general, the bar hit. You be like, what'd he say? What'd he say? What'd he say? So, yes, shout out to three. I've been saying this shit for years and years and years that going to events is a fan experience. If you're doing analytical shit like breakdowns and ball, you would never, you're not gonna remember nothing. You're gonna walk out, 20 people gonna talk to you, another 15 gonna be by the car, you're gonna go eat, you're gonna hang out, you're gonna forget everything that happened. That's why sometimes a lot of times when I be at events, I'll do a recap, like, in the building, like, right there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, walking around, saying what up to people and shit like that because you're going to forget. So, uh, uh, I don't know who the plan was. John, John, Easy, I don't know whose plan it was to announce that there was no 25 on the floor before the battle drops, but that's wild. Anyway, T-Rex versus Chess. Shout out to uh, Rex and Chess. Uh, they got the battle to happen. SP's not here. It's Christmas. I'm not having him come by on Christmas, and I'm actually um, flying out tomorrow. So we really won't have time. That's the reason why I got to kind of recap it now and give you my thoughts and perspective. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to my brother Showtime SP. Christmas, nigga ain't coming over here on Christmas. It ain't going to work. You know what I'm saying? So I'll holler at him. I'll be back probably before the, end of, before the beginning of the year. You know what I'm saying? I got to go on vacation. Like, we work, 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 grind, work, grind, 
work grind all year long. End of the year, I always take a vacation. You should too. Uh, so let's get into uh, chess versus Rex. You know what I'm saying? I did watch the battle and shit like that. Um, I, I, I'm going to tell you like this. First and foremost, it turned out way better than I thought it would. It definitely turned out way better than I thought it would. I did hear noise about Rex earlier in the week saying, you know, uh, he was he had the battle had happened again. It was a couple of people he had spoke to, and he gave him how he felt the battle went, right? Because it was last, I think it was last Sunday, and there was chatter about the battle happening again. Rex was confident. Mickey and a couple other people said they spoke to him. It was like seven o'clock in the morning. I said, there ain't no way someone called you about a battle they had if they lost. I'm not calling a nigga at 7 o'clock. Yo, fam, guess what happened last night, man? He got me. So I already knew that Rex had to do good in this battle. You know what I'm saying? But I figured Chess would too because, you know, the, the energy was up to the ceiling. They had to stop the battle the day before. Irvin Plaza, you know, Irvin Plaza get. Anyway, so uh, they come into this battle. I wanted to see if it was going to be much new. You know what I'm saying? If it was going to be anything new. Or because it was only like two, three days from the last time they had the battle to when they got it, to when they did it again. So uh, Chess comes out in his first round, right? He has a water bottle line, you know what I'm saying? He goes straight to that, obviously, the, the water bottle, Rex through the water bottle and shit the day before. He says, if Randy trying, he better hope the detectives know paleontology because they going to have to search for Rex's bones. Like Rex's company, like... Chess had a lot of Rex's, like Rex this, Rex that, Rex this, Rex that lines, you know what I'm saying? Dinosaur lines, Rex lines, but they was hitting. Uh, you had 12 12 skinnies, I was skinny with a 12, I like that joint. Uh, trying to book from the stick like I hit him with a spell. That nigga hit him with the, I'm you try, I gotta have him trying to book from the stick like I hit him with a spell. That's fire. Um, ice. He said, ice up before it rain, I start giving niggas hell. He said, freeze up, ice up before you freeze, I start giving niggas hell. He said, you treat this crip like a fairy tale, don't even know you following the folklore. That was fire because he's saying crips, folk, you following the folklore. It's like a fairy tale and they're saying that's part of a folklore, which isn't a real story, but the folks lore, I love that shit. Uh, he went on to say, uh, uh, disappear and two arms out. Two arms out, catch you like baby steps, you know what I'm saying? The arms out, baby steps. We've heard different variations of that line before, but that shit was still fire. Uh, then he went to the A for Rex, A for Rex, A for Rex. The only thing rolling is an A for Rex. Skin this nigga, wear him on my back like an A for Rex. Uh, Glock in the Larkin necks. This bulldog don't bark, but it fetch. He starts moving. Now, this bulldog don't bark, but it fetch. Shout out to my brother Showtime SP. I don't hear nothing about him. It's Christmas. Don't bother that man. Let him enjoy his time with his family. He's the ball breakdown guard, but you getting this. This is what you getting. You know what I'm saying? When the manager ain't out, it's an assistant. I'm the assistant here. You know what I'm saying? So you gonna get what you gonna get. The drive-through window is still open. Come get this shit. Uh, Glock barking, locking next. This bulldog don't bark, but it's fetch. Uh, a lot of bangers. Something rolls in Harlem. Tiana Taylor. Uh, rolls in Harlem. I like that shit. If you know Tiana Taylor's. Keep the same energy joint. Something rose in Harlem, Tiana Taylor. I like that joint. Uh, I can show you what my world about. Girl Scouts. I got a box for every one of you neighbors. The neighborhood Crips was where Rex rep. Uh, the Girl Scouts got a box for everyone. You go to the store, you know what I'm saying? Box for every one of your neighbors. Like that joint too. You gonna have to decode these like we had the same felonies saying that my bars, you gonna have to decode these, but he's saying code these, decode these like we had the same felony. Fire. Um, if I pour a shot in your mouth, they're going to look at you as a vague memory. Vague is standing right there. Rex had the infamous incident, you know, best friend goals and shit. Y'all niggas remember, I don't got to do all that. Uh, he said, he said, uh, Irvin Plaza don't need another case in it. He got away with it, but he didn't get away with it. Body after body after body. Shape shifted. Now, um, Chess, I will say this. Uh, you get a lot of props. Because I love the way you're able to take other people's slogans and famous words and he got away with it, but he didn't get away with it and you can add it, you know what I'm saying, to your slogan and body after body after body shape shifting. Um, Chess had a very good round. Uh, was it better than what he was saying on Irvin? I don't know. He was still snapping, but in Irvin, he was getting a lot of love and reception. I'm going to be honest. If this battle would have happened in Irvin and Chess would have continued down the path that he was on, Rex probably wouldn't have won. But if if was the fifth, I could probably take a sip, and that's not the case, so we got to get to this. 
Um, Rex comes out his first round, and I really wanted to see, like, Rex, what you gonna bring? Like, Rex, you've been in the game 20 some years. Like, can you show me you can still do it at this level? Can you ball on the street ball court? Like, can I see a three round performance from Rex that makes me wanna cut my camera on and talk about it besides him losing? Yes, watch this. And you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just wanted this. This is what I wanted. The, 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 the fucking, the chain swinging, the uncasa, the packing the mac and back and the That's what I wanted. You know what I'm saying? Rex comes out. <laughs> Shout out to Rex. You gotta be real with yourself. They put you on every card, but it seems so hard for you to deal with yourself. You out of touch, cause you ain't feeling yourself. Then he starts getting into different packages of bars. I crash out like a car coming the wrong way. He said, you from the drill mumble rap. I'm from the era where they get drilled right where they mumble at. Okay, Rex. You from the era of the drill or the mumble rap. I'm from where niggas get drilled right where they mumble at. He said, what games we playing? Check this chess, I'm just checking chess. Cause in a minute the doctor will have to check his chest. Have a nigga do it his age. Put a check on chess. Old Pierre Jordan's on. Did it in retrospect. Yes, sir. This nigga spitting. Damn, nigga. Is it checkers chess or we just checking chess? Cause in a minute the doctor gonna have to check on chess. Have a, a nigga his age do it. I put a check on chess. Old pair of Jordans did it in retrospect. Now this nigga snapping. He said a couple niggas wanna kill me. I ain't just catch him yet. I shake shit till it disappear. Like that's your sketch. Now this is the Rex I know. Shotgun shells is red, lime green. He said a couple niggas I wanna kill. I just ain't catch him yet. Uh, then he had the uh, the, uh, the line about the blade brown. I'm not gonna lie. When he started around the way round, playground day now, I kind of saw it coming, but I didn't hear it the way he used it before. Rusty Scalpel, his class act, he getting Blade Brown. I I, I probably watched so many battles that I not hear certain schemes and build-ups, I can tell when something's coming. I'm not going to take nothing from him because it was still dope. Uh, he said, where I'm from, the beef ain't dead till it's a funeral for it. <laughs> hollow tip, like, he said, hollow tip, fast like a Lamborghini was in fifth gear. He said, my scammers live in single, make sure everything they send clear. Fire. Uh, all my friends are dead, I have you mean it when you sing the song. <laughs> all my friends are dead, I have you mean it when you sing the song. He said, a nigga never know if the shoe fit until he got it on. He said, beef like a music release, you gotta drop something. Brain flew out the side of his head, look like he drops. Yo, Rex was in a fucking bag, bro. This nigga was, his first was insane. I'm gonna just move right to the second that I give y'all who I think overall and whatever the case may be. So he goes into, uh, so Chess gets into his second round. Uh, everything in relation to dinosaur, he said, and the closest thing you gonna be to is this bird. And I love when people do an addition line when he says, uh, the closest thing you gonna be to is this bird. Then he gets into, I'm just here to ruffle some feathers. I like that. I always like when it's an additional line after the punch. He says, uh, get at me, Diddy and Cassie, we gonna settle it quick, I like that. He said, now, nah, yo. This shit that Chess got into after that first set of lines in the second round, because first round is crazy. He says, you know, you don't know what type of trouble you are in, you are in, you won't get a you are in, just a ditch. The difference between you and my gun, I ain't register shit. <laughs> Do you know the trouble that you are in, you are in? He's talking to Rex, that, that he really getting personal. You won't get a you are in just a ditch. The difference between you and my gun, I ain't registered. Shoot, that was crazy. Merry Christmas, y'all. Uh, he said, and then he got into more nurse lines. You been around scrubs all your life. Capsule pill wherever you are, X. Fire capsule. Caps will pill wherever you are, X. He said, you could have went back to the nursing homes instead of your old ass trying to be active in your 60s. Uh, no dinosaur games. This clip come with an art clip, art dinosaur, I like that. Uh, rob him for his jewelry. He ain't cutting veggies. Why he got them carrots dicing in the peas? Talking about him gambling in the projects and getting robbed. Why he got them carrots on dicing in the peas like that. You are a T-Rex, not a Stegosaurus. Ain't no way you getting your place back. He said, uh... You Randy to your family, but most important, you nurse Sullivan on the loudspeakers. I don't even know if Rex is a nurse or not, you know what I'm saying? You know how angles and shit just be going on. He might be, who knows. Uh, he says, uh, must make me woody because there's a snake on my boots. If, if the dinosaur get animated, it'll really land before time. Good round. The first, I felt to me personally, uh, the U R N U R N was out of this world. You know what I'm saying? Like that was a fucking big stage bar. If he would have landed that shit in Irv, I'd be thinking when I be hearing these haymakers, if that shit would have landed in Irvin Plaza, Chess could Chess and Rex had some fire ass performance, right? So, uh, so Rex comes out his second round. 
<laughs> nigga got mad charisma, bro. He says, no matter what you do, it won't outweigh what you didn't do. <laughs> I see they was trying to build chess. I guess that's the reason why they was benching you. Talk to this nigga, Rex. He said, I'll punch you so hard, I'll wake up with broke hands. If we was wrestlers, your signature move would be the choke slam. You know, Rex, um, chess be choking the battles and shit like that. Then he starts wowing the drug talk. Rex is the god of the gun bars. He says, uh, we, he's the god of the drug bars. I apologize, gun bars rock. He said, uh, we gave fiends extra bags for every customer they brought. That street shit in the corporate world, they call it customer support. <laughs> we so fluffy, they thought I put a Frenchie in the bag. That was crazy. Gender reveal, brains blew all over. He said, brains blew all over, gender reveal, it's a boy. Then he said, 17, I had 38s like the Remy boys. Then this is when the nigga starts, yo. Some of these pockets of shit that Rex was addressing with this nigga, chest was fucking insane. This nigga said, I'm a stand up nigga. Ain't nobody in this camp got no stand up in him. My whole crew got guns with him. We all used to so, oh, man, man, man. Nah, I, got, I, I need y'all to get this shit. He said, I'm a stand-up nigga. Ain't no nigga, ain't nobody in this camp got no stand-up in them. My whole crew got some handguns with them. We all killers, so the niggas I message, we can't unsend them. The niggas I message, we can't unsend them, nigga. Just know that. Wow. Um, now I feel like Rex is in another fucking bag. Uh, he said, you know, half the price, you can't overcook it like jasmine rice. I like that. He said, you lucky we ain't in Irvin Plaza. I would have got tax time if I ain't the one y'all gave the W to. Yo, yo, Chess, why you letting this nigga talk to you? Why is you letting this nigga? The nigga said I would have got tax time. Tax time if I ain't the one y'all gave the W to. He wildin' on you right now. This nigga is wildin'. He says, uh, <laughs> you was cutting the coke with the soda bottle to make a bowl out of it. I was cutting the coke with the soda to make a mole out of it. My cousin did 21 years, he never told. They put him in a futon and he didn't fall. Yo, oh my God, yo. You was cutting Coke soda bottle to make a bowl. I was cutting Coke with the soda to make a mold. Wait, my cousin did 21 years, never told. They put a futon in his cell and the nigga never told. I, I was, well. My plan started with $30 like a boost phone. Uh, Rex Blast chest pass, that's fundamentals. Then he had the um, angry fan lines at the end of his round. Rex is, is <laughs> by the second round, you see what type of time Rex is on, man. Third round, uh, Chess comes out. Uh, he let the white ruin his life, like when black kids sleep with his daughter. Uh, he'll never forget the things that I torture. Torture, I'll never forget the things that I torture, but torture is torture. Get what I taught you, I liked it. Uh, he said, probably rob you. I might as well get his paper since I'm already here like I'm copping grabber. You know, you cop grabber, you're already in the store. Let me get some paper, some well, you get whatever you want because you're here already, you know what I'm saying? I like that joint, slick line. Uh, he said, the dinosaur getting smacked by the baby like not the mama. He said, I could still drop Jews on neighborhood like gentrification. If I crash out on your car wrecks, it ain't gonna be an accident like that. Uh, pop. Randy with the baby cow like Bob Orton. Y'all niggas be knowing about mad old wrestlers and niggas from like the 80s and 90s. I don't be knowing about it. Some of these lines, they be going over my head. I be like, I have to go look them up and shit. Uh, he had another setup at the end where he starts talking about Rex with the not blinking, not thinking. He said, what you gonna do when you in the morgue? Not blinking, not thinking. He's like, not winking. You know, most importantly, your heart is not beating. I thought it was cool, but for, I'm still thinking about the shit I heard from Rex in the round before. So, in the second round, I definitely got Rex winning. I'll go through the whole battle, but in, after his third round, I'm still thinking about the shit that Rex said in the second. Uh, Rex's third round, you ready? Are you fucking ready? Because Rex be feeling like I hate on him and shit, and I really don't. But this is the standard. I got a standard. I've been watching these niggas since packing the Mac and back of the Hack, and you spit that shit on the radio. It's certain shit that I, I've been around for a while. You know what I'm saying? I might be young, I might be old, who knows? But I've been around since the DVD era and I remember the shit that I liked, it's just me. So Rex in his third round, he said, God is good all the time. <laughs> he said, God was good and they still gave him all that time. I like that fat, that bar. My addiction wasn't to using it, it was selling it. I sold so much white, I lost melanin. Harlem nights, I had to give that lady heroin. He said, we hustled out of NYCHA, everyone in my section eight. Niggas don't be see NYCHA. New York City Housing Authority, right? I'm gonna break it down, you know what I'm saying? I break down every round that I've sketched about, motherfucker. NYCHA, New York City Housing Authority, is Section 8. 
So he said we hustle out of NYCHA, everyone in my section 8. So if you're on section 8, you live in NYCHA, but he's hustling out of NYCHA. So he's making sure that everyone in his section 8 saying that my section is eating, but section 8 is the way that you get to NYCHA. Rex, I know what the fuck you talking about. I like this shit here. Yeah, I'm a Bronx nigga at the end of the day. Please not get it fucked up. He said, you gonna get shot with a Crip Mac and the shooter is 5'5". Five five. Rock coached him, I coached Rock, I coached the coaches like that shit. Mm. He said, they said they said he been on a spree. Well, he been doing all the choke. <laughs> Rex Third is fucking crazy, man. He said, I'm a drug dealer, but got mad passion. I thought that was a message in the cookies like the last track. Merry Christmas. He said, where I stash coke at, I fell in love with drugs, that's where my heart broke at. Something I can't sew back, so I can't get my soul back. Now he's just talking. And probably the best set of bars in the entire battle. Like this shit right here, when I heard it, I rewinded it a couple times to just make sure that I got it and I understood it. I knew what he was saying, but it was fire. He said, the niggas that you do the most for will do the least for you. You come home, they act like they so happy to speak to you. Ain't calling, peeping you, checking if your people's cool. Now you home and got a show and they want to DM you. I just see the Y and the O and I'll be reading you. Now you see why I don't owe you a reason to speak to you. <laughs> Yo, that shit is crazy because when somebody that you don't speak to a long time, they say, why oh, you just see that, you see the dot. So he said, you see the Y and the O and I'll be reading you, Rex, like, I don't know if this is a once in a lifetime performance, like if, you, if this is the type of shit that you want to be on, but I am highly approving of what you did versus Chess. I got Rex winning the battle 2-1. I could debate the first a little bit, but I got Rex winning the second. I got him clearly winning the third. Uh, I would say for Chess, you're looking at this battle didn't happen to Urban Plaza, because if that nigga would have said, <laughs> if he would have said, the niggas that you do the most for will do the least for you. You come home, they act like they're so happy to speak to you. They ain't been calling, peeping you, checking if your people's cool. Now you got a show and they want to DM you. I just see the Y and the O and I be peeping you. Now I see why I ain't got no reason to speak to you. Um, Chess didn't get bodied. I seen niggas saying that before. Chess, he didn't get bodied. I feel like, you know, there's going to be some people that's probably going to argue for Chess 2-1. It depends on what you like, but for me, I prefer what Rex was able to do. Uh, shout out to my brother Showtime SP, you know what I'm saying? He's the god of these bar, bar, bar. But I figured that I would do it because if I don't do it and I don't see him for another week, you wouldn't be with it, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes it happens like that, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes Jalen Brown plays and Jason Tatum doesn't. Sometimes Jason Tatum plays, Jalen Brown doesn't. This is just a game where Jason Tatum had to do his thing, you know what I'm saying? Well, I'll be back with SP real soon. But again, Shout out to everybody that watches this content, whether religiously or passing. Shout out to Three Letter Man for his blog yesterday and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's a very good message. You know what I'm saying? He's talking about not competing for imaginary titles. People always want to be in competition, bro. I be trying to tell niggas I ain't in no competition with none of these bloggers. Everybody can do their thing. Everybody getting their money. Everybody moving how they moving. That be the end of it. You know what I'm saying? The only person I'm in competition with is what we did last year at Showtime SP when we here doing these recaps, trying to better him because you know what I'm saying? He's my boy. But other than that, like all that extra shit, bro, your kids love you, your family loves you. Enjoy the time, man. All this fake competition and beefing with niggas, like nah, nah. I just want to be the best blogger that I could be for the people that support myself, my family, Showtime SP, and what we do on Fox, you know what I'm saying? I'm the, I, I, I got some of the best recaps though, you know what I'm saying? So everybody wants to, it's claiming what they do. I got some of the best recaps in the fucking world. And you know what I'm saying? So we can leave it there.